Nuclear authorities are dealing with safety problems at another offline plant. The Monju fast breeder reactor is just three kilometers down the road from Tsuruga. Officials say the operator has failed to carry out safety checks. As a result, they are demanding that plants to, plans to restart the reactor be put on hold. Government officials inspected the Monju reactor last year. They found more than 9,800 missed checkups on equipment. The plant operator, Japan Atomic Energy Agency, later filed a report promising to improve safety procedures. But officials say the operator has yet to improve the situation. Meeting on Wednesday, the nuclear watchdog issued a harsh reprimand. <laughs> The real problem is that organizations like the Atomic Energy Agency still exist and are allowed to exist. NRA officials told the operator not to prepare for restarting the reactor until they can confirm the situation has improved. The officials say they will allow the Monju operator to respond before formally issuing the order. This, was likely, this will likely delay the reactor's restart until the end of next March. The head of the agency that operates the Monju fast breather reactor has resigned. Officials at the nuclear authority said his organization had failed to carry out safety checks. Science and Technology Minister Hakobun Shimomura announced that Atsuyuki Suzuki will step down as president of the Japan Atomic Energy Agency, or JAEA. Shimomura said the operator's lax oversight was a breach of public trust. Suzuki became president of JAEA in August 2010. He was a member of the Nuclear Safety Commission from 2001 to 2010 and became its chief in 2006. Government inspectors found JAEA failed to conduct more than 9,800 equipment inspections at the Munju reactor in central Japan last year. Shimomura said the ministry will select a successor. He pledged to work to regain public confidence. Now, Japanese leaders envisioned a future where they could sustain the country's energy needs with recycled fuel. They built Munju as a dream reactor that would generate more fuel than it consumed. Engineers started developing this type of reactor with the birth of Japan's nuclear program in the 1960s. Government leaders hoped to put the facility online by the early 1990s, but things didn't go according to plan. They pushed the deadline back each time they reviewed their nuclear policy. Finally, in 1994, the operator fired up the reactor. The following year, a sodium leak brought operations to a halt, and workers there continued to face problems. The operator put the facility back online in 2010, but during a test run, a fuel exchanger fell into the reactor vessel, and again the plant went offline. The people at Japan Atomic Energy Agency want to restart before next April. But regulators say the operator is unable to ensure the safety of the reactor. They've ordered workers to stop preparations to restart it. The government has spent more than $18 billion on the facility, but government officials believe Monju won't be able to resume full-scale operations until around 2050. A troubled, plagued uh, nuclear facility in central Japan is facing another setback after being offline for much of its 19-year history. Regulators have told the operator of the Monju fast breeder reactor not to prepare to restart the unit until improvements have been made. Nuclear Regulation Authority officials gathered to approve an order they issued earlier this month. The prototype reactor generates power using plutonium extracted from spent nuclear fuel. A government inspection last Last year found about 10,000 missed equipment checks. Regulators criticized the Japan Atomic Energy Agency for inadequate safety management. They've ordered the operator to show improvements have been made before preparing to restart the reactor. The agency must implement a system that allows accurate checks of all equipment and ensures maintenance is carried out. It also has to review security measures to make sure safety is the top priority. Now, the operator of a troubled, plagued nuclear facility in central Japan is facing another problem. Workers at the Monju fast breeder reactor in Fukui found a technical glitch in their computer systems. The problem prevented the transmission of vital data to the government's monitoring system. 
Technicians were alerted to the problem when an alarm sounded early on Monday morning. It warned that real-time data on the reactor's condition and radiation levels in the surrounding area were not being sent. The workers found a computer server turned off. The Japan Atomic Energy Agency operates the Monju reactor. It's been offline for the past three years. Spokespersons for the operator say they turned the server back on and restarted data transmission about four and a half hours later. They say they found no irregularities at the core facilities and the reactor and sent their data by fax and email to the Nuclear Regulation Authority. The regulators say part of the facility housing the server lost power and they are investigating the cause. A government inspection last year found the operator missed about 10,000 equipment checks at the facility. The former head of the operator resigned last month as a result.